All right, here we go. Whoopie C. Okay, that's a graveler. Count me in for Smash Perfect. You need that Ethernet adapter for Smash? Hey, man. Go for it. Garbage on the game. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure you do it. You do have a great caster voice. I'm a caster for a few games. Uh, I cast it Wednesday Night Fights. I cast a bunch of stuff, but... Well, let's look at this game. We see Rapidash. The time I decided to use Articuno. Dude, did we just lead Articuno versus this? I think Articuno's like, okay. It's not good against Graveler. I don't want to get... Uh, I'm actually going to lead Gyarados, I think. Yeah, the adapter is like really important for Smash Brothers. I have one. You can see it right here. They're kind of cheap. But it makes a big difference, but it's not like needed. And especially if I'm casting your eyes, this game's not gonna be that valuable. Or it's not gonna be like needed. Have you tried Incineroar? How do you write this? Uh, I've, I haven't really used Incineroar in Smash yet. But we're going into this game. We're using Articuno. Because uh, my guy, Sigitomu, gets a bunch of subs and said he wanted to see it. So we're gonna try our best. We're gonna try our best with uh, his Pokemon. We're not leading with it though, because like I didn't wanna fight Graveler. Ooh, I would've fought that though. I'm gonna switch into- I'm gonna switch into Articuno, fuck that. Let's go, Articuno! Show me what you're working with. Don't you sleep powder me. Don't sleep powder me! Not like this, chat. Here we go. Gyarados switching it on out. Come in with my boy Articuno, LEGENDARY! Team Mystic! Oh, he's pedal dancing. How much is this action to do? I wanna see. That's not enough. I'm gonna use Substitute. Actually, I- I actually have- uh, 1 HP over the sub damage. Uh, sub, this did 1 HP less than, like, you get for subbing, I think. So, sub should be able to wall this out. Show me that sub. Pedal dance numero dos. Don't break. Oh, yeah. The sub hanging on by a thread. Put some sashes up for that sub. I'm Papa Roost here. Roost up, boys. That's pretty sick. Articuno making the plays. Four days. And let's see it. Let's see. He might switch. I would be surprised to see a switch here. I think a switch is definitely as muy possible. Sash is up. That's what I'm talking about. Sash is for subs. Hey, man. Subs can hold on with sashes, too. We don't discriminate here. But let's see. He's taking a long time. I mean, he's in a pretty bad spot. He is. He's not in the best of spots. He has to be switching out. Is it Graveler? Are you really sitting on Graveler? Rapidash! This guy. He's crazy. Coming in with that Rapidash. Shiny Rapidash as well. I love it. One of my favorite shinies in the game. That is so sick. Articuno is just such a swag Pokemon, I think. He's going to be fashionless with Rapidash, but we're at full. What we're going to do is Toxic. He's going to break our sub. Our 1 HP sub. And uh, we'll just probably switch out into something that mitigates that damage. So, Fire Spin! Oh! I don't know if I can switch if Fire Spin. I know I don't think it, it's gonna work though because of uh, it's hitting our sub. Tankiest Mon? It's hard to say. It's debatable what the tankiest Mon is. I do not want to fight against Fire Spin. Last time I checked, poison's up. I don't think Fire Spin's active because it hit our sub. Please tell me that it's not. It's a good question though, right? Yeah, let's just switch out before he Fire Spins us and traps us in there. Um, we're gonna switch into Aerodactyl. Why are you using not flawless mons in your team? Not willing to farm? Um, I'll explain why I'm not using flawless Pokemon. So, this is a Twitch stream. I do this pretty much every day for two or three hours. After that, I have to edit the videos, make the thumbnails, clip them, render them, upload them, write the descriptions, do all the tags. While I'm doing that, uh, I also do like a bunch of stuff in my Discord. And I answer every single YouTube comment that I get. And so it's not a matter of, like, I don't want to farm. It's that literally managing the stream and the YouTube take about all of my life. <laughs> Takes about all of my life. I could probably mega an earthquake here. I don't know if I want to earthquake. I'll, actually, I can just earthquake. I don't want to rock side. Yeah, uh, long story short, it takes a long time. And I answer every single, like, YouTube comment I get. So that's pretty much it. Switching to Lapras. You I should use Rock Slide. Should use Rock Slide. Finally come up with your stream. Keep up the good work. Thank you for coming and showing that support. I really appreciate it. Use PK Hex, bro? No, dude, that's a cheater. I am not a cheater. Well, you're still playing well even without perfect mods. Yeah, none of my stuff's perfect. Like, none of it. Like, at all. Even a little bit. I'm gonna switch back into Articuno. I could Rock Slide and probably get a KO, but I don't want to miss. 
And I want to see what he actually has versus uh, Articuno. He can use, like, an Ice Attack, but it's neutral. And, like, we're pretty bulky. Sounds like you're just being lazy. Jake, you're the only person doing competitive. Let's go. I don't think you understand, like, how much time and effort actually is going to make in these things. I feel that Flawless Mons aren't that crucial. They're not. They're, like, absolutely not. Is that a Hydro Pump? Are you crazy? Holy moly. Where's my pressure ability, guys? Where's that pressure? I'm going to go for a Toxic. Articuno. Showing itself. Oh, Toxic miss. What? How am I going to miss Toxic and eat a Hydro Pump? How is that fair? <laughs> Articuno. Can you not? I'm going to have to roost this out. Yeah, that was pretty bad. That was pretty bad. He's withdrawing Lapras. Cool. He's going to go back with Rapidash to block another Toxic. But that's why we roosted. Is it Rapidash or is it uh, Vileplume? Yeah, it's Rapidash. Bro, I should set up Stealth Rocks. So he's going to switch this much. Roost back up, though. Yeah, we're just going to switch out. I think we're going to switch back out into Aerodactyl. Never lucky Articuno. I know, right? But, uh, yeah, it, it takes a lot. So, like, uh, I'll, I'll run you guys. Since we're just chilling playing a game, I'm sure you guys are probably interested in this. I thought the Articuno's characteristics hates to lose, not loves to miss. I know, right? So, yeah, uh, every day I wake up at about 7.30 and I answer YouTube comments and manage the Discord for about two hours and I get coffee. So, around, like, 10 o'clock in the morning, I've, like, answered every single YouTube comment for the day because there's, like, probably 50 or 60 at the start of every day sometimes up to like 100 and so we answer all those things and then i get the stream ready take getting the stream ready and and that's the only part of the day that i actually have to play the game uh, during that part of the day i get like my notebook out and i'm like hmm actually right now i'm gonna stealth rocks because i said i was going to uh i i go and i you know create the teams that i'm gonna use in the stream like i do i have like an hour to be like hmm what kind of really cool unique team do i want to show off in today's videos and, you know, I build the team, I get the mods that I need, I hit up some people, sometimes they trade me stuff. How long have I been playing competitively for? I started playing competitively in, like, 2008 in singles, and then I transitioned to becoming, like, a professional VGC player in 2011. And from 2011 to, like, 2018, I was really, like, a high, high, like, world's caliber player, VGC player. And so that's why it works here. Can I see you play with Scyther in the future, possibly? If not, no worries. Oh, definitely. Most definitely. You know what? I'm playing with Scyther, like, tomorrow. Is that Dragon Pulse? Bruh, don't kill me. Live! Whew! We live those. We live those! And I got the rocks up. But yeah, I will definitely play with Scyther for you, my guy. I got a Scyther set. I'm gonna bust out just for you. Just for you. When people sub, when people donate, when people do that stuff to help me out, I do my best to help them back. I use whatever stuff they want to see. But so anyways, yeah, so we're currently at like 10 o'clock, and I've been working for like an hour. On like you know the team that I want to make like today I was using muck and Persians so I was you know building the team around them coming out with people like coming out with like sets and like you know items and not really items but you know I, I play other formats and stuff like that as well I'm actually just gonna rock slide this it's time for Aerodactyl to hold the L kind of want to taunt it but I don't have to I'm just going for rock slide anyways so by the time 11 rolls around uh, it's time for the stream on turn the stream on stream for about two to four hours usually we're currently Almost at three hours. And uh, he's going for measuring KO. So that's probably waiting me to about three o'clock. So it's three o'clock. And note that I had never said that I ate breakfast. I never said that I ate anything else like that. So uh, I eat a pretty decent lunch at about three o'clock. And I throw the video file from the stream in the renderer. Arcanine 2. Yeah, I have a right. decent one. I can trade you. Yeah. That's right. Oh, thank you for the follow. Who's this? Banana for scale 182. <laughs> I dig it, my guy. I dig it. Did we KO that uh, Rapid Ash yet? No, we didn't. I'm gonna bring the Articuno back up. Trying to show off Articuno, guys. So, um, it's about 3 o'clock. I eat lunch and start rendering a video. And so, about 4 o'clock on average, I'm done with lunch and I'm ready to start, like, the second half of my day. And so, that part is just editing. So, I'm editing, cutting, clipping, uh, adjusting the sound on the video, doing everything that involved with the video to make the video actually work and cutting them all into little videos. And so doing that is really tedious and really time consuming. But then you do that and you make the thumbnails as well. And so usually by about 8 or 9 o'clock, about like 7.30, I've completely finished the uh, editing process. And I've clipped the 3 or 4 hour VOD from this Let's Go stream into videos that will eventually be uploaded into YouTube. I haven't uploaded them yet. I haven't written the descriptions. I might not even made the thumbnails, but I've done all the editing and cutting. 
And so it's about 7.30, usually by about 8 o'clock, I like to start the night stream if I can do that. Sometimes I'm too behind and I have to, you know, continually edit. Sometimes I'll take a night off of like Smash or a night off of the night stream and just do uploading things if I'm behind on YouTube. But then we do the night stream and that goes from like 8 to like 11, maybe 12 sometimes. And then when we do that, uh, you know, the last thing I do is sometimes after that, I'll eat something to eat for dinner and it's like midnight if I'm even doing that. And if, if not, you know, I just go to bed hungry, but yeah, that's the day. That's the reason why I don't have six IV Pokemon. When in that day, and I haven't even said, note that I, note that I said, when do I upload? That's the thing. Uh, sometimes I have to take like one of the streams off and just do a massive upload uploading. I haven't to I told you about the uploading. I haven't yeah, told you about right. the making, that's right. editing of the thumbnails. There's so many things. And I also like have to do all the Discord work and stuff like that. It's so much work. Thank you for the follow. JC Baller Squad 23. It's a lot of work. Have you ever tried Magmar though? Um, not really. I I'd be down to try Magmar. I like Moltres. Moltres is like the best fire type, I think. It fits. It's I play Moltres just like I play the Articuno set. It's like the same set. But, you know, hopefully that opens your guys' eyes a little bit more to how I do so much, like, work and why I don't have all the best mons. But, yeah, like, yeah, uh, Edo Venus, Edo Venseer is definitely helping out getting some stuff, but you can see how it's actually a lot of work. And then, like, what other things? Like, I haven't even said, like, what else I do. Like, this is all, what if I, you know, sometimes I leave my house. Goodness forbid. Uh, why Moltres over Zard? I said I like Moltres for this type of set. I run the same set on my Moltres, but I run Fire Spin over Ice Beam. It's really, really good. I said yesterday, can I see some Hitmonchan or Arcanine? We're going to be using Arcanine soon, but if you check out the YouTube, there's already a bunch of Hitmonchan games on the uh, on the, um, the YouTube. We're going to be using it soon. I'm just going for Ice Beam. It's fine. In this meta, are Fire Flyings used 50% from Stealth Rocks? Yeah, so you're talking about the meta and how Fire Flyings use a lot of damage from Stealth Rocks. When was the last time someone set up a Stealth Rocks on me? My whole team is very fast Tauntmons to stop the rocks. Uh, if you look at my team building videos, I'm really, really good at stopping people from using rocks. Yeah, I am really good at it. Like that's I, I go above and beyond to really showcase the ability of taking out those rocks. We're probably gonna lose Articuno here. Maybe not this turn, maybe next turn. Yeah, Articuno extra thick, by the way. Who said you need those perfect IVs? There hasn't been a single situation where if I had better IVs, the game would be any different. I could have zero IVs, I could have max IVs. This Articuno is decent across the board with a bold nature, and it's not having a single effect on the game. Is it worth it to save Articuno? It is worth it to save Articuno. I can switch in Muck here. He's gonna use Psychic anyways. He's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. I'm gonna save Articuno. I'm not gonna let Articuno take the L. For me playing lazy and explaining everything. Show me that psychic. Recover! Oh, this guy. Oh, this guy's that has has jokes. First time catching you live. Would love to fight you. Don't have enough competitive Pokemon yet. Yeah, we do viewer battle streams like once a week. We try. Uh what we do in the viewer battle streams is uh subscribers get to cut in line of everyone else, but I'm sure we'll do viewer battles soon. Again, like I just don't have the Pokemon. Like I'd love to use all these Pokemon, but I just don't have them. I can only play the game for like 30 minutes a day. The story of you wanted to help other people's Pokemon was dope. Yeah, that's that's how it works. I want to help everybody. He's going to Earthquake me. I know it. I feel your Earthquake. I can feel your Earthquake. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch up my Muck. I'm not gonna just going to let him Earthquake me. I think I'm gonna switching Gyarados. Yeah. I could switch an Articuno. Actually, wait. Do you guys think he's going to Earthquake? Because like, it would be funny to switch an Articuno. Because that's like telegraphing saying, I know you're not x -scissoring. I know you're Earthquaking. I'll switch into Gyarados. Gyarados is better versus x -scissor. And better against Earthquake, or just the same against Earthquake. Yeah, it's a lot of work, guys. It's a lot of work, but, you know, someone has to do it. Like, remember, the whole thing started was, I'm trying to make an impact in people's lives. Like, I'm really trying to, he didn't go for the Excessor, good play. I'm going to try to make an impact on other people's lives and help other people realize that you can use any Pokemon and that pretty much anything can be used. Every Pokemon is good. Every single Pokemon has a spot that they can fit into competitive play. If your favorite Pokemon's Bulbasaur, if your favorite Pokemon's Kakuna, your favorite Pokemon is freaking Pidgey. All those Pokemon are good. Tits reviewing on a Mewtwo on a team with uh, based off Charizard X. Yeah, that's right. Okay. That's Thank right. you for the follow. What is your guy's name? Karasa79. Thank you for the follow. Uh, ACED7419. I'm going to show you a team. Go to YouTube. There's going to be a link there to a, a video called uh, Charizard Flex. It's my most recent team building video. In that video, we actually show how to beat Mewtwo team specifically with 
uh, Charizard based teams. That is the perfect video. You can copy that team using its Mewtwo. It's super solid. Punchy Rock is God tier. What is Punchy Rock? Feels like as long as you are able to read your opponent well, you can pretty much make any team work. Yep. Some teams are using others. Yeah. Uh, all you gotta do is you gotta th outthink and outwork the competition. If you do so, anything is possible. It's able to win with anything. Run a Magmar. We can do that eventually, but you guys are saying, Red Magma, run all this stuff. I just explained to you guys that I cannot get these Pokemon. Like, I do not have the time to do it. Adamant Mega Beedrill outspeeds Timmy Mega Mewtwo. Why? Does it? But you don't have to outspeed Alakazam. Or do you, out you don't have to speed Aerodactyl. There's something you don't outspeed that you need to outspeed. How do you know Big Dick B but not Punchy Rock? I haven't seen the videos it's from, I just know the reference. Fair Pokemon is non-partner Eevee. I have a couple shiny non-partner Eevees from Let's Go. Now let's Mega Evolve and just go for the Crunch Arena, mi amigo. There we go, we're gonna farm one for you. I mean, if you guys want to farm stuff for me, you know, put it in the Discord. You guys can definitely hit me up in Discord. And also, anyone can join that Discord. The Discord is completely open for everyone. We're going a huge community. We almost have a thousand people in the Discord. He's going for the Recover, bruh. Not like this. I'm gonna grind you out. I think it's completely funny, though, that, like, this guy's, like, playing, and I'm using Articuno, but I'm not gonna lie, I totally beat this guy without even looking at the game. Like, I earned that crit. Yo, put those RNGs up for that crit. Yeah, if you guys want to find stuff for me, I'll take it. You build the community, we will help. Yes, if you build it, they will come. That's the way it goes. <laughs>